Guten Tag, Legends. Guten Tag, Superstars. Peps here, and I'm bringing you the round 13. 13 losers for a massive round of AFL football. Hey, I was a massive loser last week. I only picking four of them, including my mob, the D's, who are absolutely putrid. Will they come back against the Pies this week? We'll all find out very shortly. But it's all kicking off this Thursday night. The Adelaide Crows versus the Richmond Tigers, two massively disappointing teams. One due to the lack of talent and the other one just lacking whatever's going on. And it's all happening 7.30 p.m. at the Adelaide Oval. Teams yet to be out at this particular moment in time, but that's OBK because on thinking with the Adelaide Crows, they can only win at the Adelaide Oval. Here is my sneaky suspicion. I think... If Tex Walker is not playing in this particular game, I'm going to make a massive, massive uh, outsider. And I think the Richmond Football Club are going to take this one out. Yes, I think they're going to get a number of superstars back this week. And I think with everything that's been going on in Adelaide, they were absolutely woeful last week against the Hawks. And they could potentially be woeful against Richmond, who might actually have some stars back. So I am tipping... Yes, I'm saying the Adelaide Crows to go down to the Richmond Tigers by less than three goals to be the biggest loser on a Thursday night this year. But it's not going to be happening on Thursday. Friday night, strap yourselves in because it's the Western Bulldogs versus the Brisbane Lions at 7.40 p.m. at Marvel Stadium where superheroes just like the Bont play every single week. And I tell you what, the Western Bulldogs, are they starting to find some form? Yes, they've got a couple of people out. We know Norton's not there at the moment, but that's okay. Ed Richards, he'll be back eventually, but they are playing cracking football at the moment. And I cannot say that about Brisbane. There's two reasons why Brisbane are not going to win. The first one is Brisbane is shit, especially away from the uh, Brisbane or the Jabba the Hutt. So this game being in Melbourne, they don't play well down here at all either. So that means the Western Bulldogs win, and that means the Brisbane Lions lose another one. And I think if things go to plan, this one might get a little bit three to four goaler. I know Sam Darcy's not going to be there, but they've still got enough firepower to kick a score down there for the Western Bulldogs. And they're going to win this one, three or four goals. Brisbane Lions, your season's over. You're moving out of uh, the friend zone, and you're going down to start packing your pegs for Vegas. Rightio, two teams at this moment who do not look like they're going to be packing their bags for Vegas early on right now is the Hawthorne Hawks versus the GWS Giants. Saturday, 1.45 p.m. down at Utah Saints. Utah University of Tasmania Stadium all the way down in Chile, Tasmania. Funny enough. And the Hawks, geez, aren't they playing some good footy? I thought six weeks ago they were cooked. I thought Sam Mitchell was woeful. I thought they were going completely backwards, but it just goes to show you give them a sniff of belief and they can do anything. And they have been absolutely magnificent over the last, like I said, five or so weeks. The GWS have sort of plateaued a little bit. They started the season like a freight train. And you probably would think over the last probably month or so, they haven't been playing the football that dominated early on in the season. So ladies and gentlemen, Boys and girls, I'm going with another little mini upset here. I think the GWS are going to lose to Hawthorne and that little bit of a <laughs> of making finals might start to creep a little bit closer because that sniff is going to get a little bit bigger. It'll be less than a goal. And I tell you what, if the Hawks win this one, strap yourselves in, people, because every man and his dog in the brown and gold will be flying Brian to the MCG to see that mob play because they are playing some really electric footy. The GWS, the questions are really starting to get asked because they are going to lose this week. Rightio, talk about a game that is going to be one to take your wife and family or take your husband and kids out, mistress, master, whatever you want. Saturday 4.35 p.m. at Optus Stadium. It is the West Coast Eagles versus the North Melbourne Football Club. The only people who are going to be watching this game are the West Coast people because North Melbourne supporters are not going to win this one. They're not going to watch this one and it'll be game over. This will be a 
Six to seven goaler, West Coast Eagles, even without Harley Reid, they will dominate North Melbourne to send them off on their 12th straight loss for season 2024. It's a strain that Harley Reid is not going to be there. How good would it have been to see the Cheese versus the Reid? It would have been an absolute belter for all the West Coast supporters to watch. Rightio, another game on. Almost as much of a snooze fest, but I think it'll be a little bit tighter than what we're going to be seeing over in Perth, is Saturday, 7.30 p.m. St. Kilda versus the Gold Coast Football Club. Rightio, St. Kilda, you were pretty good against West Coast last week to pinch the win. And Gold Coast, what a brilliant victory against Essendon last week up there in the Gold Coast. You're coming down to Melbourne, but you're going to have the roof over you. St. Kilda like playing on the fast deck, but I reckon if there's a team that loves playing on the fastness, the hardness, the slickness of a stadium, that would be Gold Coast. Raul, Anderson, Took Miller in the middle, Ben King up front. You've got Lacocious. Mmm, it's so tasty. You've even got beautiful Mac Andrew dominating down the back there. They are going to win this one, and they're going to give St. Kilda a bit of a headache, I think. It's going to be a five-goal win to the Gold Coast Football Club. And once again, St. Kilda losing puts that more and more pressure on to Ross Lyon, and the question starts to get asked, is he actually making a difference? Because at the moment, you'd say in 2024, he isn't. All right, here's the game of the weekend, in my humble opinion. It's kicking off Sunday, 3.20 p.m. at the SCG. Sydney versus Geelong. Can the Cats bounce back after a bit of a scare last week against Richmond? Sydney, they're fresh. They've had the week off. They're playing at home, and they are going to win this, and I think they're going to do it quite easily. It is going to be tight for probably the first two and a half quarters, but Sydney, they just choke you up there at the SCG, and they do not let anybody run over them. They are in too good a form for an aging an aging, an aging list like Geelong to take this one out. Sydney, love what you're doing. You are first on the ladder for a reason, and this is going to show you once again how awesome you are. Sydney by four goals over Geelong, cementing first place and two potential home finals, which is going to make it very, very difficult for them not to be playing in a grand final at the end of the year. And Geelong, once again, those questions are still going to be asked. Are they done? Should we put them in a retirement home? It is a night game, so they'll all be tired by approximately three-quarter time around about 4.30, quarter to five mark, they'll start to get a little bit tired and the game will be over. We are heading into two last games. Essendon versus Carlton, Sunday evening. Interesting one, but not in an interstate. This is at the MCG. This will be a corker of a game. Essendon are playing really good football at the moment and so is Carlton. I will say one thing to Essendon supporters, keep the lid on. Enjoy it for what it is, but if you have a look at your history over the last three seasons, Past round 12, you absolutely fall in a hole and you are pretty much woeful for the rest of the year. So you've got a pretty tough draw heading into the last part of the season. Carlton, they were really, really good last week. They'll have an absolute belter of a game against Port Adelaide. They'll have another belter of a game against Essendon. I think the Twin Towers are going to be too much for Essendon to handle. And Cripps and Walsh in the middle with our Parrish running around are going to make it a little bit difficult. Nick Martin, you need to hit a target. Stringer, you need to hit the goals as well too. I reckon this will be pretty tight for quite a while. It'll be a bumper crowd. If you can get a ticket to this game, please go ahead and do so because you are going to see an absolute ripper. But I'm going with Carlton to make Essendon losers by about three goals. Nothing more than that, but I'll be tuning myself into that one. King's birthday Monday, 3.20 p.m. It is the traditional Collingwood versus Melbourne game at the MCG. We've got two teams right now that over the last couple of years, we would have been seeing who is the pound-to-pound champion right now. At the moment, Collingwood don't have any players. And Melbourne, we've got players that just don't do anything. They were shocking, putrid, awful against Fremantle last week. And Collingwood, well... Let's just put it in this way. They are, they are down, but I'm picking a bit of an upset with this one. I think that Collingwood are going to beat Melbourne. I think Melbourne are pretty much cooked for the season. Unless they change their game plan, if they go with what they've rolled out for the last month, they will get beaten regardless of who is on the park. Collingwood have still way too much talent to lose against a Melbourne team that is just way down on confidence and a game style that 
Not even an under eights football team in the EDFL could work out. They've got a lot of problems right now, and that's why Melbourne are going to lose. They're going to lose this one by probably three to four goals, I reckon. Collingwood, their season towards our finals will still be there. And the questions are really, if they haven't been asked already, are going to be put on Simon Goodwin. Has he basically screwed the pooch on a potential dynasty? I think we might be there. That means that Port Adelaide and Fremantle will have the bye. But there you are, my losers for a massive round 13 of AFL football. Now, make sure you join us every Monday night, 8 o'clock on Facebook and YouTube or on the podcast feed for Lace Out. It's the live show. It's how you want your footy. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring the bell. We want to get to at least 500 subscribers by the end of the season. We can't do it if you don't ring the bell. So ring it. Be part of the show. Get this content every single week. You guys are amazing. My team isn't. I hope your team wins and uh, they're not a loser. See you, viewers.